It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here along with analyst Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. Look at the 76ers starting group. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Kelly Oubre out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Batum in at the three slot. And for San Antonio, Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. The guard pair are Jones and Vassell. And it's Champagny in at the three spot. If you like fast-paced open court basketball, Smitty, then this is the right game for you. That's for sure. These teams are excellent at scoring in transition. After every turnover, even after every rebound, these teams are going to try to get out and run. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. And here's Maxi to the inside. And Nicholas Batum, the bucket on the assist by Maxi. Such a creative score. Batum can do it inside from three, really anywhere on the floor. With the drive, here's Sohan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Embiid. Hey, Steve, when Sohan has the ball, he is, he is pedal to the metal in the full throttle. All gas and no break. Kevin, yeah, he's a one-track mind with the ball in his hands. Get to the bucket is his mindset, and he's just as aggressive on the defensive side. And he knocks down the first one. And they're great at both ends, but the Sixers offense, Greg, the Sixers offense is elite. And it all starts with Joel Embiid feasting inside and at the free throw line. And his teammates reap the benefits as well with wide open shots on the perimeter. So he gets them both. Not his most comfortable spot on the floor, but Sohan works hard in the gym on his off days at the line. Outside, Maxi. Just five to shoot. Takes the three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Jones against Maxi. Jones, no luck. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at his finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Ren Benyama finds Jones. That's good, and it's Ren Benyama with the assist. Crafty play by Jones, using the pick to free himself up and get a step ahead of the defense. MB dishes to Oubre. Back to Embiid. Finds yet again. The rebound by the Spurs. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. They grab their own miss, and it's out of bounds. The Spurs are able to retain possession here. Here's Sohan. Batum grabs the miss. Maxi in the corner. No good from outside. For San Antonio, they've gone just 1 of 4 to get this game started. Champagne passes to Wembanyama. And that won't go, missing the go ahead bucket. Philadelphia's gone 1 of 2 from long range in the first quarter. Here's Maxi. Up and in. Off to an efficient time start. Out, Two out. for three from the field. This is where Tobias has really improved. Keeping his eyes up. Making plays for others. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets.
And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Morris is checked in for Embiid. Robert Covington comes in for Harris. Daniel House is checked in for Nicholas Batum. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Ubre. Here's Wem Banyama. 122 left in the first. Here's Johnson. It's hauled in by the 76ers. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Well, we've seen siblings in the NBA before, but Marcus Morris and his brother have a unique story. Yes, they do. Marcus was picked one pick after his brother Marquis in the 2011 draft after playing college together. Back-to-back -to -back NBA picks. Wow. Here's Wimbanyama. And easy two points on the layup. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Johnson surveying the floor. 29 seconds left here in the first quarter. And Covington sends it back. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Victor Wembenyama. The 76ers shooting their first free throws of the game. And he can't get the first one. And he's good on the second. Here's Branham, still without a basket. Here's Johnson. Two on the clock. He takes it up and lays it in. And it's all knotted up. He finds a way to make an impact on the boards. There's no shortage of hustle and tenacity in Keldon Johnson's game. Tie game in San Antonio. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far and take a look at San Antonio's performance here what do you think they've been doing or not doing way to set the table offensively they dominated on the interior they came in looking to attack from the get-go willing to be physical and setting the tone and with the big collisions we see in the paint and Greg there are some some have argued for changing the charge rules. Could you see that? And you know, there's talk of extending the restricted area. I've even heard some say ban charges by help defenders. Uh, I like the former idea. Uh, it seems less extreme. The guard there are Jones and Vassell. Then it's Doug McDermott. And it's Sohan in at the four spot. That's the San Antonio five. Now here's Oubre. Nothing on the board. Here's Embiid, and they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. Now Jones. Pass to McDermott. From the wing, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. And with Tim Duncan and David Robinson, Greg, the legendary Spurs big man of days gone by, does that, do you think, add pressure for Victor Wembanyama? Maybe a bit, but he also has the resources of the same great organization behind him, and that's what'll help. Now here's Jones. 
We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Pass to Vassell. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got four rebounds now tonight. Now here's Beverly. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Embiid with it. Lock at six. Oh, Embiid just overpowers the defense inside. And showcasing that overwhelming strength. Embiid is so skilled at finishing over the aggressive defense. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. When you think about the Spurs, Greg, it's hard to believe how long Greg Popovich has been at the helm, isn't it? Man, it's hard to imagine another team will have the stability at head coach that the Spurs have had. Not too many coaches last decades anymore. Martin's check in for Philadelphia. And a moment here to see the standings for the Eastern Conference. And you know, guys, some interesting stories have unfolded here as we move through the middle of the season. Taking a look at Philadelphia. The season well underway, and they've been solid in third right now. And seeing where the 76ers are, they've been on a tremendous run this season. All the pieces were in place coming into the year, and they haven't missed a beat. Great chemistry. Great coaching and potential to do some great things in the postseason. Right. They knew teams would be gunning for them night in and night out. That's only fueled their commitment to putting a great product on the floor. Crafty at cashing in from there. Oubre Jr. enjoys working on his interior game when given the opportunity. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Here's Champagny, covered by Martin. Wembanyama, no good. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Now, here's Oubre. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Sohan. Outside for Wen Benyama. Now the pass to Champagny. Tries again. Offensive rebound. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock, and it's Martin missing. Got to run the clock and wait for the last shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? Graham surveying the floor. Here's Wimbanyama off with the layup. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into halftime. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. The Sixers. Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So we've got to keep shooting them. Hopefully start making some of them. Now you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit.
And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A pretty close game for the Spurs throughout the first quarter. And in that period, the most they trailed by was three. Scoring-wise, they broke even in the second, so little ground was lost there. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? There's been a ton of energy in this building tonight. And the way this one's going, they're going to need the energy down the stretch. It's a tight ball game. And that fans know how to give them a lift when they need it. And over to Shaq, what did you think about Philadelphia? Well, I thought the one bright spot was the effort on the glass. Several times when momentum was sliding, getting the timely rebound really lifted them. The strong work on the glass is key because that's how you string together a series of big stops. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. And so, in the game for the 76ers, the pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Tyrese Maxey out there with Kelly Oubre, and it's Batum in at the three. 76ers shooting 32% overall right now, not one of their better showings. And, Greg, while the Sixers have been effective time and again, they've been unable to get past the conference semifinal. Where they bowed out in five of the last six years. But you go back, they haven't made it any further since Allen Iverson led them to the finals back in 01. Shooting two. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Better than most centers from the line. Embiid exceptional with his hands. B drops them both. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Vassell against Oubre. Mbanyama no good. Now the 76ers with it. A two-point game. It's off to Charlotte for him after this game as they take on the Hornets. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Passes to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Down to five on the shot clock. 13 feet away. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist by Maxi. And Embiid practices these shots all the time, which is why he's so good from this area. Pass to Vassell. Here's Sohan, guarded by Harris. And it's Sohan missing. Starting the half with three straight misses. Not how they envisioned this one. Harris passes to Maxi. Here's Embiid. And count it from 19 feet timeout, away. Timeout. Now it's a 6-point 76ers lead. <laughs> the big fella, Embiid, making it look too easy. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And once the team to beat in the West, Greg San Antonio is trying to get back to that level. Well, they have a great organization, top to bottom. They're smart and battle-tested. I believe these guys will find a way.
And the 76ers making a change here. Morris has checked in. Now let's take a look at some of the numbers for Joel Embiid. Ninety seconds now into the second half. Jones, the pass to McDermott. It's Wimbenyama, top of the key. I pose Johnson. Batum's there. Count it, and the Philadelphia lead has been cut down to four on the bucket from Johnson. And you look at how Kelton Johnson has evolved. He is now a prime time scorer. One big difference these days, he gets himself to the free throw line. He's not just selling, he's attacking. And they pick up two. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. Outside, Jones. Pass to Wembanyama. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Oubre. It's good. Oubre's got the lead up to eight now for the 76ers. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. And the rejection by Embiid. And how about the anticipation from the big fella? Embiid is one of the league's premier shot blockers. San Antonio making a switch here. Wesley's checked in. Daniel House has checked in for Philadelphia. Patrick Beverly comes in for Kelly Oubre. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Johnson inside. Shot clock at six. Branham can't get it to go. And, and they continue to control the glass. Here's Maxi, And they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. Shooting one. Whatever they did right in the first half defensively, we're not seeing it now. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Devontae Graham's checked in for Doug McDermott. And the 76ers also making a change. Covington's checked in. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Here's Branham. Scoreless thus far. Looking to end the run. And it's Joel Indeed with the rebound. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. To the paint. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Here's Johnson. Sweet little floater. Johnson's got six points. And they call him big body for a reason. Johnson adept at fighting off contact. Beverly the pass to Maxi. 17 seconds left to play in the third. Covington wide open. He fires. That three off the mark. Johnson finds Wembenyama. Shoots over Embiid. Wembenyama no good. One second left. That one doesn't go. And so it's Philadelphia in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. Back to the action in just a minute. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. 
And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge, lead by example, unselfish play. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. The guard pair are Jones and Vassell. And it's Champagny in at the small forward. That's the San Antonio five. No good that time. Great D that time from Oubre. Buries it from about 10 feet away. Oubre's got the lead up to 11 now for the 76ers. And in the first half, it was a struggle offensively, shooting a very low percentage, but it hasn't prevented them from grabbing the lead, and, and now they're shooting it much better here in the second. The pass to Jones. Here's Sohan, six on the shot clock. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Shoots a three. Jones, no luck. Philadelphia leading by 11. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Maxi, no good. Inside, here's Wimbanyama. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Finding the most open guy. Good vision from Trey Jones out there. Harris outside. The feed to Morris. It's stolen by Jones. Pass to Sohan. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Putting in that extra effort and getting a bucket for it. Sohan not giving up on the play. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Oubre outside. Lock at six. Win Banyama with the rebound. Win Banyama has got four rebounds now tonight. Count it, and the Philadelphia lead has been cut down now to just five on the basket from Jones. Win Banyama against Maxi. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wembenyama. Johnson, he's checked in for San Antonio. The 76ers also with a sub. Embiid, he's checked in for Morris. One thirty-two left in the fourth. Another miss by Maxi, And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That'll be his second foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. San Antonio calls timeout. They trail by five. 127 left to play in the final quarter.
And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid. And he's provided them with a major mismatch on that low block tonight. And they've been able to lean on his scoring in the paint. And if nothing else has worked, he, he's given them a reliable option on every possession. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Greg Popovich talking to his team during the break. And I told his guys they can do this. And the huddle, they said, we've been here before and come back. So we know we can do this. We just have to believe. Inspiring words. We'll see if they live up to them, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. 76ers shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. And here's Maxi. Pass to Embiid. None of the miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Guys, this possession could decide their fate. And they have to be careful with the ball. And it's so hand missing. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. There's 31 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And so they foul intentionally. Shooting two. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Productive trip to the line extended their time lead. Out, time, out. time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're trailing by seven. 27 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Twenty-seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Count it! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Devin Vassell coming up clutch. And that's an intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Shooting two. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Greg, nothing short of some once-in-a-lifetime plays are going to save them now. Yeah, the, the door is just about to close on this one. But hey, never say never.
so Philadelphia wins it. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, in the past, you've had some critics, and you haven't run away from that. So what are you looking to prove out there? Uh, just being dominant, so I want every time people hear my name, I want them to know that I'm a dominant player. That was certainly the case tonight, man. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. Thank you for that, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.